Good evening, Gungeoneers. Welcome back to Into the Gungeon. Uh, last time I had two failed cursed runs. And I'm actually probably not going to continue on with the cursed runs for a while. I kind of have a few other things I want to get done. Uh, for now, I'm definitely going to come over here and talk to the Tinker. Uh, we did unlock the elevator shortcut, and by talking to him, he'll uh, give us something fancy. Like the gun boots. The uh, elevator itself isn't too... I don't find it too useful most of the time. It's... Ah, damn it, every time. I am so sorry. I am just... I am just really so sorry. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be a very special episode because I'm going to be doing something uh, different. Uh, like buying stuff from uh, Professor Gupton, possibly. I'm not sure if I've ever actually... No, I have used the membrane. It's not very good. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. I thought there was, uh... If you complete enough of the Gunsling King's challenges, he'll give you something special, but... Eh! I do know that if you ace enough of Winchester's challenges, he will give you something uh, special. But acing those challenges is kind of hard. Like, I did the first one almost on accident. Uh, the others are a little more, you know, dicey. This is a new patch of the game, 1.1.2. Um, I don't know exactly what's changed, to be honest. I do know that challenge mode was supposedly made a little bit easier. I haven't tried it out yet, because I, well, frankly, haven't had time. But, uh, I will be testing it at some point. I mean, just not right now. Because I'm busy playing this game, you wonderful folks. I don't know what caused all the audio issues in the last episode I had. Um, I tried fixing it after Wallmonger, and I tried fixing it after, uh, uh what's his name? Uh, right before the Lich fight. But I, I don't even know what caused it to start going off in the first place, so it's just very strange for me. It's one of those things where you can't really tell where the desync starts, so it's hard to re or fix it. Because I, I know it started sometime on the fourth floor. I don't know what caused it. We didn't have any issues when we were talking over uh, Discord. And so I fixed it after floor four. And then apparently sometime during floor five, or possibly during bullet hell, it went down again. So, these things happen. Uh, brown chest, as always, never open brown chest. They are nothing but garbage and will bring you sadness. I have this on good authority, aka myself. At least I haven't gotten enough stuff to make brown chests worthwhile yet. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, next run, I will go ahead and make a challenge run and say the only chests I'm going to open are brown chests. Everything else gets destroyed. That sounds like a good idea. You know, we'll call it the uh, we'll call it the brown chest uh, retribution or the uh, redemption, maybe. That'd be good. Or to be terrible. It can be two things. Still looking for that other chest, other chest, and for the shopkeeper. Shopkeeper, and also Cursula, who has nothing I'm interested in. The sense of direction is... Uh, situationally useful, I guess? It'll... It's an active use item that, when you use it, it points you in the direction of the boss, but... I take it back. It's not very useful. I mean, for most of these roguelike games, having something like a compass is pretty useful. In this game, not so much. I mean, you don't have to shoot anybody to recharge it, so there's that, but it's just not a very good item. Oh boy, ammo I can't use. How great. Oh well. That was probably the actual drop I would have gotten, too. Well, let's see who we're fighting. Probably Gatling Gull? Called it. 
reason I figured it might have been Gatling Gull is because uh, he seems like the only person who has this sort of uh, outdoor arena. You know, a good guess. Because I haven't really got anything good on this floor, I think I'll go ahead and head down to the Oubliette as well and see if I can get some good drops from there. I know there is a way to cheese this boss. If you get too close to him, he does have a melee swing. I don't know if they've patched out the effectiveness of it. But it's not its not a very effective melee swing, and there is a sort of a sweet spot you can stand in that will uh, prevent you from really being in any danger from him. I have never found it, and I don't really intend to. I mean, he's such a nice boy. Why would I want to? Why would I want to cheese him like that? So let's see. We have found the wind-up gun. That's uh, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> anyway, and I'll go ahead and head on down to the Oubliette, and we have three keys we're taking. Well, actually only one key at the end of it. Uh, one key will be taken with us, so that should that should work fine. Why would the water barrel be in the secret room? You need the water barrel to find the secret room to begin with. Eh, whatever. I've seen a, ooh, that was that came a lot faster than I was expecting. I have seen people talk about uh, they do feel like they're getting better at Gungeon, and I think I mentioned it in a video before, but somebody else mentioned it as well. Um, you should probably feel like you're pretty confident clearing the first two floors just using your basic sidearm. I mean, if you want to bring out a special weapon for the boss, hey, you know that's fine and good. But you should really be pretty comfortable with your pistol. If you're not, then well, you're getting a bad time. Once you reach floor three, where enemy health uh, enemy health scaling starts ticking up, it's definitely understandable that you might want to swap to a weapon that's more suited for room clearing. But your pistol's not bad, guys. I swear, unless you're the pilot, in which case it's the worst. Too, but I'm still doing fine, honestly. I just have high expectations for myself. The other thing I'm going to be trying to do on this run is uh, I do want to find one more Cape Bullet kit because that should unlock a missing character. That'll be special, you know, assuming I manage not to kill him first. <coughs> and I'll think about going to the Abbey of the True Gun. I actually have something else I want to do on this run. Eh, why not? Ah, the uh, silencer. It's a pillow. I don't exactly know what it's shooting out. It looks like, uh, shields or something? I don't know. But it's a funny weapon, at least. I really don't know what would make a uh, pillow a weapon, but, you know, it's not my place to question these sorts of things. Or maybe it is. I mean, I need a good light. 
smother somebody with a pillow, but I don't really think that's what they were, uh, I don't really think that was the logic behind it. Oh, look, another brown chest, how great, yay. Well, at least it gave me something useful. Shopkeeper and for the boss room. Oh, well, there's the shopkeeper, so. One down. falling down pits here and there. Eh, why not? Yeah, so you're the pit lord. Uh, you unlock it by pushing a table down a pit, but uh, you basically once you have it, you no longer take fall damage. So I'm no longer as worried about just jumping off cliffs. You know, through clumsiness or whatever else that usually can cause that. That's a, there usually seems to be some reason on pretty much every single floor. I just decide to jump face first into a pit. I mean, it's usually panic. This is not a good spot to be in. This is a very bad spot to be in. Anytime you find yourself cornered with shotgun pin, you're pretty much bound for a bad time. Especially three of them. <clears throat> That's okay. Made it. idea to stand next to a table with something is exploding on. So let's see, I'll go here and grab this heart. My hard-earned heart wages. And then I think the boss must be straight north. I've already bought the key. So I can pick this one up. And we'll head on up. In fact this is probably the bath this is probably the boss room right here. Nope. Sniffly, I've been fighting off some crud for a while. Why not? We'll take out Blobby along with the silencer, or at least try to. It's not a very good weapon. I mean, it's a weapon. <laughs> it's funny. difficult boss, I gotta be fair. Um, a lot of times you might think, well, what what times would I want to decide to come down to the Oubliette? Because honestly, Oubliette is, it's probably about the same difficulty as Floor 2. Just for gee whiz sake, I mean, it's doable. Oh yeah, the silencer, if you swing it close enough, it also stuns enemies. Um, but yeah, there's never really a bad time to come down to the Oubliette. I mean, if you're 
Especially if you don't get any good chests on the first floor. You've got a better chance of getting good chests on the second floor. I... Did I check these secret rooms? I think I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I checked for secret rooms, but no dice. Yep, nothing. Oh well. The reason I went ahead and used that uh, ammo drop, even though I wasn't sorely in need, is for a special item down here. Once the first elevator is complete, we find a broken television. Uh, the broken television takes up your active item slot. If you press the spacebar, you can throw it. And while you're carrying it, a dodge roll will also cause you to drop it. Now, you might be wondering, what the hell do I want with the broken television? And the answer is, I want to take it down to the blacksmith in 4 or 5. We'll see if I make it that far. With the television. I kind of usually have bad luck with the television, just in terms of dropping it off a cliff or something. So, we'll see. And also, of course, once you pick it up, uh, the resourceful rat will pick it up if you leave a room with it. Because, I guess maybe the resourceful rat has something that he wants to broke into. Maybe to watch his soaps. I, I really don't know. Yep, see, that's, that's gonna be a thing that I do. On accident. I mean, the TV's already broken. It's not like you can break it anymore. So that's that's not a worry as far as tossing you guys. But you do have to make sure you remember to pick it back up when you leave. It's uh, mildly inconvenient, but it's not terrible. I'm not looking as closely at this floor as I would normally be if I had something like the, uh, the piece of armor. Because, well, I'm not trying to get to the Abbey the True Gun. I don't know, for some reason, just carrying the broken TV puts me in, like, a concentration mode, I guess. Super Space Turtle, that's gonna be a useful find. And that's not. <laughs> yeah, Super Space Turtle, that's our uh, buddy who helped us, uh... I think he may have helped us do the Abbey the True Gun the first time. See, now this kind of floor is where having the TV becomes a bit more dicey. As if you need a dodge roll to get around traps, then you really have to think about it, and it's just... that's ah, a pain. I think I might save up for Wax Wings. Because Wax Wings would take away a lot of the issues in flying over or through those trapped rooms. That sounds like a pretty good idea, actually. Just one last thing I have to worry about when it comes to uh, that sort of thing. I mean, if I find the jetpack, obviously I can't take that with me because that's an active use item. I have not been having too much on these secret rooms so far. What's up with that? Now ah, the Frost Giant. This is uh, something that got unlocked in the last run. Um, I want to say the Frost Giant gets unlocked after you clear the hollow a certain number of times. I think it might be 30 or 40. The Frost Giant special thing is that it shoots out gigantic icy bullets. It's sort of like the, uh... 
Uh, it's sort of like the Phoenix, but better because Frost is a much better status affliction than uh, Fire. deal with this. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the wax wings because I have the money for it. And I'm just gonna fly over and not worry about dodge rolling. Because what I would have to do is probably try and throw the TV onto this platform, then dodge roll onto it, pick it up, try and throw it on this platform, dodge over, pick it up, throw it on this platform, and hope that at no point did it bounce far enough to fall into the pit. Getting the TV down to the next floor can be a little bit of a trial. And by a little bit, I mean terrible. Ammo condo, ammo condo. Super. Luckily, ammo condo is affected by frost as long as I'm close enough to him. Ah, dang, I just took a hit. Ah, I took two hits. The downside of the Frost Giant is that it's not too big on ammo capacity. You can see here it's pretty much completely out by now. Uh, but, you know, there's always next time as far as uh, trying to get the uh, <coughs> secret floors, I guess. Well, not secret floors. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, all five master rounds. Yeah. You do, get, you do get something special for getting all five master rounds, and I've done it, um, once. Yeah, approximately once. It's kind of hard. <laughs> I mean, I almost did it on that last run, but Cannon Balrog, you know, just stepped on my face. Because he's a rude boy. Oh well, these things happen. A shot Grub is probably not going to be very useful on this floor. Frost Giant is out of ammo. <laughs> Why don't we try to chickenize some enemies? I mean, the witch pistol isn't honestly too hot for much else. If you're not using it for room clearing, what are you using it for? wings to actually make sure I can do what I wanted to do on this floor. You know, little things.
nope. Looks like uh, Super Space Turtle Buddy is actually a nice enough guy that he will not kill our Cape Bulletkin. Appreciate the appreciate you, Super Space Turtle. You're the best. Yay! Nice. I'm pretty sure that's five out of five. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> I mean, if I see any more, then I'll definitely, you know, try not to kill them, but... Okay. This should have a key for me and a meat bun. Um... Oh, 35. Dang. What have you got for me? Muncher? No, it's a uh, Chork. Uh, I don't really like any of these, honestly. Like, don't get me wrong, dude. I, I really like you, but I've had some uh, some bad luck with those before. I see here. What do I need to do? Maybe keep exploring. I still need 30. Still need five more casings for a key, and I still don't know what the. Uh... Oh yeah, we need to talk to. Uh... The tinker and see what he needs for uh, fixing this elevator. Three armor. Okay, that's uh, probably doable. I mean, not right now, obviously, but eventually. Of course, if I had that second master around, I could give it to him right now. But I don't, so I can. Who knows? I, might, I still have a chance of picking up uh, three pieces of armor on this one. Not a good chance, but a chance. Oh, Winchester. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I can actually cheat this game, too. This will work. But I need 35 casings for it. That's that's doable. I can, I can bring back five casings. Chickenize large enemies. I keep saying chickenize. I don't think that's a technical term. Transmogrify, maybe? No. Apparently, I could chickenize his hat, so that's a thing. Okay, so. We have our casings for Winchester, and uh, kind of like I had that one surprise with uh, Ghost Bullets working on his uh, game of game of uh, game of skill. Um, well, the Wax Wings let you cheat too. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to uh, not going to lift a not going to look a gift chest in the mouth. And of course, he gives us a black chest, which I do want to look and make sure is not a mimic first, because black chests and red chest mimics are the worst. And we have the BSG, aka the Big Shooty Gun, uh, based on the BFG 9000 from Doom. It shoots a really big projectile. It is really excellent for room clearing. It is also a charged weapon. This is actually a pretty good find. I like it. Eh, not that way, that just goes to somewhere we've been before. And that's the boss. I think the BSG actually does pretty decent damage to bosses as well, but mm, you could do better. <coughs> yeah, there's better weapons to use against one enemy. But, you know, I got carried away with one to show it off. It actually has a pretty quick reload time, too. Um, of course, much like uh, most of these room-clearing weapons, it does have a uh, small ammo pool, which is understandable, you know, given everything that it does. It's, it's a good weapon. I like it. That would be pretty good for this room. I think it has a uh, smaller range on it as far as its actual effective blast range, but I 
don't actually know what it is. I, I just wanted to see if I could actually throw the TV and do damage there. I don't, I don't know. It seems like it'd be funny, at least. I don't really want to refill. Probably the Frost Giant. You know, just in case. I don't think that coolness increases your chances of transmogrifying an enemy, but it might. Oh, I hate this. I hate blowing up red chests, but what can you do? I don't have any keys. Um, I can wait until the boss. See if uh, the boss unlocks, uh, drops any keys. That's always a possibility. Yeah, why not? Oh, uh, boy. This, uh, the BSG might actually come in handy here against the Mind Flayer. Because he has that one sequence where he just calls up a bunch of, uh, elves. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, damn. I'm still not, really not good at this boss. He is a big old jerk. Yes, this sequence right here. Could have gone worse, all told. Still not super, but worse. <laughs> I know. The Mind Flayer is one of the ones that I really don't have that much experience with, so he's a jerk. Now here's something interesting. If you have the BSG and you pick up the uh, Thunderclap, uh, they actually both get a synergy. The Thunderclap uh, gains increased damage. So that's really nice. Uh, we did not get enough casings to open either one of these chests. So, they must be destroyed. <clears throat> Half a heart out of one. And junk out of the other. Surprise, I guess. <laughs> it's not a surprise. Oh well, what do you do? I'm really wondering about this lack of secret rooms I'm finding. This seems, uh... strange. Because <clears throat> normally I would have found at least a few by now, but I've got nothing. Oh. Onwards and downwards. We'll just have to keep the, uh... keep the three armor requirement in mind for later. Down of the hollow, uh, not great on the uh, witch pistol for room clearing. Whoa. Yeah, just because I'm flying doesn't mean I can take contact. I'm out of ammo. Okay. Uh, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I can refill the witch pistol, why not? That's doing me good so far. I want to say the synergy for the um, for the Thunderclap and the uh, BSG is that the uh, BSG gain or not the BSG the Thunderclap gains increased damage. At least I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't know if the BSG gets a uh, synergy from it. It seems like it should. But how do you increase protection? Finally. I will be saving that until I find the shopkeeper, though. Same for that one. Yep, hey, that's two keys already on the uh, start of the floor. That's not a bad start. Oh well, what can we do? 
eat the bullet and, live, and move on with your life. Good so far. I, mean, I don't have as many hearts as I'd like by this point, but that's okay. Sling King has a challenge for us, apparently. Well, it's going to be this time. Ooh, a club. The club is a reference to GoldenEye 007, the uh, game on the N64. There was a gun named after Ken Lobb, and it's terrible. The club is not a good gun. The club is a bad gun, in fact, you might say. It has very slow reload time. Uh, completely inaccurate, and low damage. The club has problems, you know this. has a high ammo pool, I guess. You know, I, I'm pretty sure there is a synergy for the club, and this really seems like one of those ones where it has such a uh, high fire output that if you had remote control bullets, maybe it won't, maybe it'd be more useful, but I don't, so it's not. Go back and talk to the Gunslung King. And Silver Bullets. Okay, that uh, could be useful. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but I can make use of that. Uh, silver Bullets increase damage against the Jammed, and also uh, massively increase damage against the Jammed, I should say. And also somewhat increase damage against bosses. So essentially, I think they do maybe... 1.5 times damage against bosses? I don't know exactly. But they're, uh, hey, I'll, I will not refuse a free damage up, especially when I still have the chance of encountering jammed enemies. That's, uh, absolutely worth it. save that whole heart until maybe I need the whole thing. Don't want to waste it on half. Ooh, this is a ghost room. Yep, I saw that coming. I could have waited, but... Eh. There's a second chest up here, and this chest is... They're both green chests. Okay, that's not bad. Um... I wonder if the reason I haven't been finding any secret rooms is because the silencer actually can't open secret rooms? Or can't find them? Eh. So, you know, this is the opposite case. If there's a whole heart, I want to use the whole thing now because I took damage in that trap room, and y you understand where I'm going with this. Uh, still need to find that shop. <clears throat> there he is. Okay, what you got for me, Shoppy? Poison vial, lodestone, amulet. Mm, nothing super good. Nah. I'll go and pick up my other keys. 
Open up those chests and see what we got. Both green chests, so it should be at least two useful things. Should be. There's no fast way to get there, is there? No. Hey, I managed to do it without getting hit that time. Yay. Ooh, the, uh, I believe this is the Magnum. Yeah, that's a good weapon. Our passive item is the uh, clear guon stone, which I don't remember what does. What does this do? Well, oh, negates poison damage. Uh, not very useful considering I'm flying, but uh, that's that's fine, I guess. I mean, it's an orbital at least, so that's nice. Help me block uh, incoming bullets. I'll take it. Would not be my first choice, but I won't deny it. Not this is a good time for. I did not expect that to bounce, actually. <laughs> Pistol, there it is. Felt the witch pistol. It's doing me good so far. Looks like the only way to go is down. Into the boss door. Let's see. I'm bringing out the thunderclap for this and. Oh, kill pillars. Um, actually, I wonder if the BSG would be good against these guys because it does pierce Yeah. Good idea I had. Once in a while I have good ideas. Okay, we got, uh, looks like frost bullets. Uh, I got our second master round, finally. And I got my TV. So that's it. Yeah. I think, unless the shop had anything left, anything good. Nope, can't afford it. No biggie. Down we go. I originally going in and I'm like, uh, it's probably one of the single target bosses, like Wallmonger, Thunderclap might be good, but no. If you can do uh, if you can do significant AoE damage, kill pillars go down like jumps. You know, it's just that you don't usually get an opportunity to do significant AoE damage. Or uh means and resources. Uh frost bullets might be kill this. Good job, Super Space Turtle. You're a hero. Oh well. This room right here is why I really wanted the wax wings, because trying to throw the TV on these platforms while also dodging the hammer is obnoxious. Unacceptable. Doing good. 
doing just fine. Despite despite all my panic cries, I'm doing fine. down to the south. Might find the blacksmith first. TV yet. That's a good sign. chest. I mean, I'm, mm, I'll probably find another, uh, another, what's it called? Another, uh, another key for the end of the floor. Probably. Oh, that's super. That's great. That's super great. Uh, it's a camera. It's not very good. I am not happy to find the camera. I mean, there's ways you can make it useful. I don't have any of them. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the camera has been instrumental in my completing bullet hell before, but that was when I had alpha and omega bullets. If you don't have anything that uh, increases its damage, it's not very good by itself. Because, uh, let's see, what is that? What it has going for it, it is a... Oh, nice. Um, it is a full room clearing uh, damage... Or not room clearing, uh, room damaging weapon, so there's that. It's just... It takes a while to reload, it takes a while to charge up, it has things going against it, that's all I'm saying. You can do better than the camera. If you can make use of it, hey, that's, that's your thing. We'll see. I'm not holding it. The revolver may have gotten uh, transmogrified, but then he just got frozen instead. Frost bullets are pretty good, you guys. Yep, that's, uh, that's an ash bullet uh, shotgun, can I think? Yep. I did not see him coming, but I never do. I mean, that's kind of the reason they're dangerous. You never see him coming, they either pop out of the walls or something. Shoot you in the butt. terrible to come all this way and then lose it at the last second. Smith already. This is a some sort of. Oh, it's a muncher. What do I have that I'm not using? Well, I'm not going to use the camera. <laughs> There's that. And uh, probably not going to use the silencer anymore either. Well, actually, the shock rub I think is a. Mm, yeah, shock rub. <coughs> cool. 
I haven't even used the shock rub once this run. Hey, it's the barrel. That's uh, that's usable, honestly. I like the barrel. That may just be my personal opinion, but I think the barrel is a cool thing. Especially the part where you shoot fish out. Of Yep. So actually, I want to hold. Oh, hey. God. Hey, found a key. And there's honestly no guarantee that the shopkeeper's going to have a key on this floor, so. I might as well take it. And here's the sling, which that'll come in useful. I like it. And uh, this is Bloody Eye. I think we've seen this one before. It's a Cowboy Bebop reference, the first episode. They had this. Stuff that you shot in your eyes and it slowed down the world, so it gives you slower enemy bullets. Enemy bullets. That's good. <laughs> Here, I was just talking about that, too. Oh, well. And she has a key, too. Oh, whatever. Um, I think I already showed off the Gunslinger's Ashes. I can't afford the Alpha Bullets, no matter what I get. Um, hmm. Trick Gun is kind of garbage. I'll take, I'll take the armor for now. The rest of it I'm not too, too solid on. Huh. I'm sure we'll be seeing him later. Now what do we have? I did not appreciate this room whatsoever. <laughs> Anytime I see a kill with it, I am just not fond of them. Kill with it's a jerks is what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, so let's talk about the sling briefly. The sling is a D D rank weapon. It can bounce off walls. Um, the important thing about the sling is that it does increase damage to bosses. And only to bosses. <laughs> so I see if I can, you know, work on bouncing these off, it should do. Yeah, you can see there it's actually taken off quite a chunk of them. the sling is actually really strong against bosses. Like, that seems like it was a really low-scale fight, but the sling's pretty good, you guys. I just had to think about where I was putting my rocks, but it works. <coughs> and of course, if you're not bouncing it off walls, it does a little bit less damage. But it's still not enough. And so the dragon has once again been rocked. That's the joke I'm going with. I'm sticking to it. Yes, this is a good joke that I picked to make. Are there any half hearts I they left behind? I thought there were. No, I guess not. Hmm. Oh well. I mean, why go into a bullet hell half cocked? I'm only 
got five hearts on the way down, which kind of makes me nervous, but at the same time, eh, it should be fine. I mean, worst I can do is die. Again. I mean, hey, if that happens, it'll... Yeah, that's the end, they'll be cool. I'm gonna use... I think at this point I need to take off the kid gloves as far as, you know, weapon usage goes. Bullet Hell is not the place to be conserving your ammo. Especially when you immediately encounter a dead end room. Found a key. Woo! On the off chance that I encounter a chest down here in Bullet Hell. Shot grubs are the worst. I'm sorry. Red mages and shot grubs. Best, the worst for life. The best, the worst for life? Worsties? It's not like the besties, but the worst. You know where I'm going with this. Yes, shellatins too can be stunned by the power of the Maybe the reason it stuns the enemies is that they're so surprised that fish are coming out of the barrel. Like maybe they're maybe they're too shocked by the uh, by the power of the pun. Sorry, I'm just getting lost in the concept of playing a pop goes the wheels. I love it. I kind of wanted to come down to bullet hell is that there's usually a lot of poopy or a lot of blobby longs of all sorts down here, so it helps us towards that hunting quest that we're still doing for uh, Rifle and Mauser. Mm. 
Uh. I'm actually in bullet hell right now. What is this? Thing, that would have been the perfect time to use the BSG. Just because I don't know exactly what the range is, but I know it's pretty darn good. Even though it means I'd have to deal with as many of those groups. I don't know quite where the boss door is, so I could just be going around the circles right now. Oh. There's another one. Is this number 5 of 5? freaking me out. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna just try. That's unfortunate. Had a heart this bird. Time to be silenced. See, the silencer is not totally useless. I don't really like going down at this point, but I don't really have a choice. Because I think the only way you can really enter the Lich's uh, boss chamber is from the south. So if anything, I would say that's probably farther over here. I don't know. confusing layouts. Has these jerks, these damn gun cultists. Okay, so apparently I was wrong in my uh, guess about the room layouts. I should have just kept going the way I was going. <laughs> oh well, it happens.
Oh, I'll take him. I got the barrel again. I can't actually tell how many bullets that my uh, Guan Stone has saved me from, but I assume it's at least a few. Dealing with it. <laughs> Not even a little bit worth it. Alright, now unfortunately I have choices again. Partially right. All right, thunderclap. It's your time to shine. Save the sling for the second floor, for the second phase, because at that point the lich is as big as he's going to get, and it'll be a lot easier to hit him with bank shots right now. I just don't have a very good guarantee of hitting him. Save me now. Ah, almost, almost get took it without taking a hit. Oh well. All right, second phase. Sling, save me from myself. I think all I'm going to do is try and bounce him off the bottom wall. And mess that up too. <laughs> Game sucks. Doing good so far. Okay, one more phase. I got this. I got this. I don't think I've actually killed the Lich in a while, so this should be fun. 
There's nowhere to bounce bullets off of in this one, but uh, the sling should still do some decent damage. And I think I still have one blank? I have no blanks. time we'll be taking at least one secret character up for a spin, but I have finally killed the Lich after a while. Jeez, it's been a hot minute. I mean, it's uh, it's still hard. The, the bullet hell is still hard. I mean, that's not just for me, I swear. It's difficult. Um, then again, I'm, you know, I'm not exactly perfect this game, but next time, I, sh I know I unlocked at least one of the secret characters. And we're taking one of them out for a spin. I may have unlocked both. We'll see. I'm pretty sure because you're pretty sure you only have to have save five K bullet kin for the uh, for the bullet. But I know that all you have to do is take the broken television down to the forge for the robot. Which, granted, that's not exactly easy, but uh, it should be doable. Yeah, I got this. Anyway, that is it for this episode. Please join me next time. Until then, aim true.